James Haldays, Wine Atlas of Australia. I'm Per Carlson, BK Wine. This is the new edition of James Halliday's Wine Atlas of Australia. This is a major book on Australian wines. The size of it is about the same as the, uh, the Wine Atlas by uh, Hugh Johnson and Jancis Robinson. So it's, it's heavy tome. It's not something you actually travel around with, unfortunately, because it would be the perfect travel companion. It's more than 300 pages. It covers all the wine regions of Australia. Uh, I'm not sure it uh, contains all the wineries in Australia, but it does contain a lot of them. You have for each wine region, you have some really great maps. This is an overview map. You have much, much more detailed maps, like here, a little bit more detail. And you have also the really detailed maps, like this one, where you can find exactly where to find the different wineries. For each of the regions, this for instance, which is Margaret River, for each of the regions, there is a short introduction with uh, some words about the grape varieties that are most popular in this, in this region as well as a review and commentary of all the major wine producers in the region telling you their, uh, a lot of details about them, their uh, opening hours and if they have restaurants and tasting rooms and websites and all that kind of stuff. Very, very useful. It really is an invaluable uh, companion, I think, to anyone who is uh, travel, certainly for anyone who's traveling around Australia to discover the wine regions and the wineries of Australia. Uh, but it's also a very, very nice uh, book for anyone who, who's interested to learn more about uh, Australian wines. Uh, me, for instance, I, I love knowing, seeing where a specific winery is when uh, I'm tasting the wines. Uh, so it, it, uh, it's definitely a very interesting book with some really good photography also. Uh, the, most of the photography is made by Richard Humphreys. Very nice pictures. One thing that you should not miss if you get this book is also the, uh, the actual the first couple of pages, the introductory chapters of the book. Um, it starts with talking a bit about the general, well, general introduction to Australia, talking about soil and terroir, uh, talking about the uh, uh, climate. But also an interesting thing is uh, the uh, description in fairly much depth about the Australian re regulations and how Australia is uh, divided up in different regions and sub-regions. It's not a very easy thing to get to grips with, but uh, James Halliday, who has written this book and who is maybe the foremost expert on Australian wines, has done a good uh, job of explaining it. But the really unusual thing with this uh, book uh, or this introductory chapter is a, a lot of pages actually I think it's probably some 10 pages about climate change and uh, as for many other subjects James Halliday doesn't shy away from controversy controversy um, in these on these pages he actually tries to tear apart much of the uh, argumentation over climate change that has taken place over the recent decades uh, he's not saying that climate change does not happen but he's certainly doing a good job of uh, tearing apart the argument from some of the worst um, uh, catastrophe scenarios that have been uh, used uh, or have been mentioned for climate change. So don't miss that. Uh, there is an awful lot of information. Uh, I certainly recommend this book for anyone who wants to uh, know more about Australian wines. James Halliday's Wine, At uh, wine, James Halliday's wine Atlas of Australia. I'm Per Carlson, BK Wine.